the NATO left and everyone who supports arming Nazis in Ukraine forever destroyed their credibility. Bernie, AOC, Ilhan Omar, and every progressive supporting the Ukraine war or are Nazi collaborators. And the reason you said this was was because of this tweet from Max Blumenthal where he, he quotes a Nazi in Florida yep. that supports Joe Biden because Joe Biden supports what, Nick? The Ukraine war and his brothers over there in Ukraine. Now, some people are now some conservatives are saying this is an op. But before I play the video, this is what this is what Max Blumenthal says. He says Biden's uh, I'm sorry, quote, Biden's better than Trump because he sends rockets to Ukraine, end quote. That's what this neo-Nazi blood tribe leader, Christopher P., stated at a 9-2 Florida rally. Kent Boneface McClellan, ex-volunteer for Ukraine state-backed Azov regime. I can even say that if I could. Schleich Heil. Schleich held. Schleich held. And below Slave Ukraini. Slave Ukraini, yeah. Yeah, so let's play this 40-second video, then we'll get to the article. If you want to chime in, just let me know. And we've all seen this. It's just them being Nazis. Let's listen to what they say. Christopher, there's a presidential race going on right now. Are you going to vote in 2024? What do you think is going to happen? My vote this? is useless. I think Biden's better than Trump because he sends rockets to Ukraine. Ah! Ah, so <laughs> so there there's a lot of uh, so there's a lot of right wingers that are in shambles and denial because these are the people who uh, they went to ignore the fact that these people exist that the Nazis exist in this country because they want to uh, re glorify our culture and make our country seem more sophisticated than it really is. It's hard for them to admit that their community they view as the best most enlightened culture has the white supremacists in it, right? So there are a lot of people on the right that call these people ops. And I and we call out ops because there are people who moved and there are people who act like ops. Fam, this guy is not fair. Why would he say this is the, the, the United States government and the establishment want to sugarcoat and hide the fact that Biden is arming Nazis in Ukraine, right? So why would a Fed support a talking point that said the CIA don't, do not want out there? So this guy is 100% legit. And as Max Blumenthal covered earlier, and you guys are going to see in the video, I believe, or one of the videos, it's showing the Boneface, uh, the Boneface guy. He was an ex-volunteer of the Azov Battalion in, in regime. So these are the people that, are, that the Democratic Party, AOC, and Bernie Sanders are literally working with. They are collaborating with this guy with the same end goal of fighting Russia. So play the beginning. We, we can let it play all the way through from there. I want them to hear that part again, and we can let it play some more. For sure. All right, here we go, guys. Christopher, there's a presidential race going on right now. Are you going to vote in 2024? What do you think is going to happen? My vote is useless. I think Biden's better than Trump because he sends rockets to Ukraine. In support of Ukraine, you mean? Hell, Ukraine. Hell, Azov. Slav Ukraine. Yeah. Hell, Tell me this, Christian. Come on, just send your fucking dreidel, you fucking reborn slave. Slav Ukraine. You're like Skullface from Marvel, right? Boneface. Boneface, sorry. I'm Boneface. What's, uh, what inspired you to kind of tattoo up like this? Uh, Ukraine. Christopher, there's a... What? I didn't see that part, Nick. He said he got tatted up because of Ukraine? Yeah, they all got tatted. They've been having a hard time hiding them, CJ. They're like, oh, man, come on. This Putin propaganda, there's so many Nazis in Ukraine. Meanwhile, they can't hide these motherfuckers who got tattoos everywhere on their face. <laughs> they got Nazi teardrops and shit. Jeez. So, and, and that guy, like, if this, if this organization was feds, and I think the Patriot Front are, are feds, uh, this is a different organization in Florida, completely separate from that. Patriot Foot Front 100% feds. But I want you guys to understand the federal government and the establishment are hiding the fact that we want to, that, that Biden is funding Nazis in Ukraine. So it don't make sense that a fed organization will point this out and give us a clip that is a massive L 
for the talking points of the NATO left and establishment. You guys know what, what I mean? I think we can be intellectual enough to see the distinction between people who behave in a way that uh, that benefits the establishment, for example, the Patriot Front organization. Mm-hmm. Like the police literally block people from following them on the subway. Why would you do that? They did that so people wouldn't follow them and see where they went. Meanwhile, these people open. You see how they scattered it in? Like there were, there's no, there was no mass protection here. A lot of them uh, uh, didn't wear uh, masks. Like that guy, the guy with the full uh, tattoo face, and the patron for all the people wore masks like crazy. That's is a damning clip for the NATO left. And I, and I got a prediction, CJ. TYT is mm. not going to cover that. Majority of <laughs> not going to cover that. David Doe's not going to cover that. My figure is not going to cover nah. that. Man. 